Okay. Hello, it's Heather, the Crafty Writer. I wanted to continue on today making Halloween ephemera. Um, I think eventually I'm going to make a Halloween themed journal. Um, so I'm making bits and pieces for that for... I probably won't have it done for this Halloween, but the goal is to have it done by next Halloween because I've got this beautiful fabric that my sister gave me. So I'm making this the cover, so I'll probably do that um, probably on camera at some point. Um, but yeah, so my last video I made a couple of these um, library cards. It says beware. And then I made this one as well. And then my daughter insisted on putting that one on there, that sticker. So, we got a couple of those. And then, let's see what else. These two I made off camera um, on another day. This is actually some sparkly black tool from the dollar store. Says, listen to your heart, it will show you the way. And then I made this. And it's um this is tool from Joann's. It's got moons and stars and little bats. So this one I actually made out of photo paper, you know, it's a. Uh, picture paper, you know. So I thought I would continue on making some stuff today. Um, let's set you guys over there. And again, it's um, trying to get myself in the mood for Halloween. I'm still not in the mood. I don't know. I'm just not feeling holidays so far this year. Um, so I, I kind of worked on these, uh, again, off camera. Um, it's bits of a file folder. Um, I have another piece. Yeah. Ooh, let me get the other piece. That's right. I make this off camera, too. I set it, like, way out of the way to let it dry. There we go. Yeah, because I did these little uh, sparkly uh, glitter glue dots everywhere. So, again, it's made out of file folder. And uh, this is a napkin um, that I got from Kroger. So, and then these are Jolie's Boutique stickers that I've had, or whatever you want to call them, 3D stickers I've had for years. So, I'm pretty sure you probably can't find them, but... I'm on a try not to spend too much money type of budget. Okay, so let's move aside, and I have my tray of Halloweenish um, stuff. I found some tissue paper. This is Martha Stewart that I've had for for years. I've used most of it, but this is like the last piece I have. So I might use that, and I just got to think, and I have some some orange cardstock, so I'm gonna grab that. All right. Got some orange and some white. All we need is just orange, right? Maybe, we'll see. Um, let's see, what do we want to do? Let's try and finish these. I'm not entirely sure what these are supposed to be. I guess probably journaling cards. I want to round the corners of this one. Um, I need to get an actual corner punch, but, you know. You work with what you already have, and it's kind of funny, I... I've seen so many people use the envelope boards and it does not like me. <laughs> I, 
it's too smart for me I think um, so I have issues making it work so I tend to make my own envelopes um, but I love the corner puncher on that thing because that's what I, I tend to use the most so um, so yeah this is file folder and I glued a napkin on it and then did some witchy with ribbon on it that I've had from Michaels for years so sorry I'm using old stuff guys <laughs> but that's that's kind of what I have this needs something I don't know what I wonder if I have I wonder if I have a charm or something I can glue on here. I probably do, but I think we'll hold off. You know what? Let's punch a hole and put some ribbon on it, and I think we could probably, maybe we'll ink the ink it a bit, and then we'll call it done. I think that'll, I think that'll work. Yeah, I've also been, um, I don't know, this week my brain has not been functioning the way it's supposed to, and I don't know. It has made trying to craft a very interesting thing. I haven't even attempted to work on my editing because of it, but who knows, probably would make it like really good. Oh, that is so off-centered. Oh well. Oh well. Nothing we can do now. Guess you guys get to see the mistakes too. All the imperfections. But that's okay. I kind of like it when you get to see that kind of stuff, you know? I feel like it brings like, you feel like you're actually authentic or something. I don't know. I need scissors. I'm going to go cut some ribbon. Sorry, it's out of focus for a second. Let's see. Let's do some red. I think red will work, right? Let's see if it gets out of focus. There we go. Yeah, we'll get some dark red and put that in there. So I went to uh, Bath and Body Works yesterday when I got done with Taekwondo with my daughter because we need some room spray. Um, I really like the room sprays because they, they last a long time and like the smell, um, it's, it's, it permeates a lot of area. Like one spray gets the whole room, you know what I mean? And we have three cats and you know it doesn't matter how many times you clean the litter box there are still times when something died in their stomach and it's just bad so you got to spray so I got more room spray for that and I caught white pumpkin I think oh, oh my god it smells so good it smells so good I love pumpkin scented stuff and I like I like drinking pumpkin spice <laughs> lattes and stuff like that when I get a chance I don't really drink a lot of coffee anymore I used to I used to be like a really heavy coffee drinker but it gave me digestive issues so that and it really shot my blood pressure and my anxiety up so I stopped drinking it. All right, what do we want to do with this? Oh. Let's see. I know this won't show up hardly any. Well, it kind of does. I feel like that'd be better somewhere else. Let's see. Um, one of these things. Angry kitty. Hmm. I love these little things. I think they are so cute. 
Mm, I think I'll save these. I got some ideas for those. I think we're gonna do some photo, um, some of my photo stuff, photo paper next. I think, I don't wanna keep using the crystal balls because I feel like that's all I do with this. Um, Oh, you know what, though? I think we will do it. Okay. I got it. I got it, guys. Let's see where to go. Here we go. This will work. This will work. I got some scraps. Some fabric scraps. So we can do... some cheesecloth. Give it a spooky look. And got some black ribbon. So we could put that there and put a little bit of cheesecloth behind it and then that there. And then maybe we could have a word or a saying right there. Think that'll look good, guys? Let's go for it. Hmm. Unfold this. So the thing about cheesecloth is the good thing and bad thing about cheesecloth is that it kind of all gets twisted because it's, I don't know. I, I probably should you know fold it instead of balling it up. But you know when you're in the zone and you're trying to hurry it up, things don't get done nice and neat. All right, so we're gonna. Trim this like so. Um, you can take a lighter and kind of melt the edges, or if you have um, the no fray stuff, you could do that. I think I'm going to let it fray um, over time because I think it'll add to the to the overall look of it all. I'm okay with it being a little, a little grungy. Keep thinking I need to open my new bottle of Fabri-Tac, but the stuff keeps coming out, so do what you know. I've actually had a bottle for probably about 10 years that's over to the side. It actually still, you can still get some out. I think it needs, um, I need to put some nail polish remover in it uh, to kind of loosen it up because it takes a really long time. Uh, I used to use this when I was making, um, laying hair for dolls, like, like the wool. I used to use wool for hair for a couple of my dolls. It's not easy. <laughs> I made a mess for a long time, but um, yeah. Okay, so we'll put that, put that there. I think we could probably double up on it and then put that there. I meant to try and lower the um, the camera setup. Cause I feel like I'm far away and you guys can't really see very well. So I've got to remind myself, oops, I dropped it. I got to remind myself to do that. Um, my next video or before my next video, I don't want to do it right now. Cause I don't know. I might be saying some pretty awful words. <laughs> it's not working right. All right, come on. Here we go. But yeah, it was funny. Yesterday, my daughter, I told her, yeah, after you know we get done with Taekwondo, we might go get some more room spray. And when we went in there, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have been to Bath and Body Works, and if you haven't, it's, um, or if you're not familiar with what it is, because you may not live uh, in the States, and I don't know 
I don't know if Bath & Body Works is global. Anyway, they sell exactly what they say, what it sounds like. Bath products. Um, and my daughter was so funny because she, technically she's been in it before, but she just doesn't remember. And I'm looking for my Tim Holtz words. And there, here it is. I don't know. Anyway, so she, she'd been in it before when she was a little, but she just doesn't remember. And she told me when we got in there, she's like, it smells good in here. I'm like, well, yeah. Did you think it was? I thought it was going to smell like poop. Okay. <laughs> so she thought Bath and Body Works was going to smell like poop, I guess, because it's stuff for your body, you know, to clean yourself and everything. But she was very impressed with how good it smelled. So... Um, let's do live your dream with passion. I think that'll work. I don't really have like Halloween words or anything like that. I don't know. If, I'm sure that's probably a thing somewhere. Probably could print some off or write some, but Tim Holtz is fine. I need to get the packs that just have um, the single words that he has. Um, let's see which glue do I want to use. Let's do, let's do just this. Run this across. I'm unsure about this stick glue. Keep holding it close and realize I'm not exactly in frame, so my apologies there. I'm not sure about this glue. The Craft Bond by Elmer's. Sometimes it seems to work really well, and sometimes not so much. So, and true to form, nothing is level, <laughs> everything is wonky. But that's, you know, what I do. Focus. Can you see that? There we go. There we go. Okay. And then it's just plain on the back. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's get these little bits. I do have one thing I want to do something with, which is this. I can't decide if I want to decorate it or if I want to just cover the back and use it as a journaling card. It's probably what I'll do. Um, I got this on a, in a swap years ago, as you can see. 2012. Um, I used to do swap bot a lot, and this was a recipe swap, I think. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. I thought about using it, but I might use it for something else. Maybe I'll put that in a journal of mine. So let's do, let's work on this. Out. I'll shoot over there. As you can see, it's like your typical shiny photo paper. It's glossy on one side and then kind of satiny on the other. So, um, figure we do a couple of these maybe. Um, yeah. So I was wondering if I could get this on there. Do I like it like horizontal or do we want it vertical? That I think this is the, the real question. You know, I think I find like with, um, with journaling cards, I tend to go vertical instead of like horizontal. So maybe we'll do horizontal because I don't know, let's be different, I guess. And see how that goes. And surprisingly, this glue actually did pretty okay on the journaling card I did before, and I did the napkin. Um, so I think we'll do that again. I do have to say one thing. I got these napkins from Kroger. And 
it says it on the package right there that it's just two ply, but I didn't look. So I was thinking it was three ply, right? So usually your three ply gets your nice like kind of see-through-ish look when you take two layers off. And this one didn't. So I was a little disappointed because I kind of wanted, you know, a little bit of the background to peek through. Because I like, um, I wanted like book pages to kind of peek through. But I do have an idea in mind for that and some book pages, which we will get to hopefully today. But I remembered last night that I had this uh, tissue paper laying in bed, thinking, as you do. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that, get this done. Yeah, this is not going to work right today. Alright, I think that'll hopefully do. I need to just order some like oohoo glue and some art glitter glue. That's all, all the gals keep using. All the ladies. All the, well, most of the ladies that I, I watch use, use a lot of that type of glue. So, I didn't really get right there very well. But. We're not going to worry about it too much. Yeah, I had a um, teacher meeting yesterday with my daughter's teacher. It's parent-teacher conference. And uh, see how she's been doing so far in school. And she is doing really fantastic. She's um, reading on the level that she should be at the end of the school year. So she is way ahead in reading. Um, her math is really good too. Uh, she does need to work on like she she can do math problems like the simple math problems um, but she's got to work on uh, the rote counting and um, specifically working on like transitional numbers like 19, 20, 21 type of thing. So we gotta work on that with her. And her handwriting is right where it, it should be at this age. Um, so, but she's made like huge progress actually. So, we're quite proud of her. And she's had a couple of rough days. <laughs> uh, where behavior wise, she didn't she didn't do too well, but she's gotten a lot better at it. But, you know, it's to be expected um, with autism, so it's a lot of change happening. Alright, so I think we're okay with that. I think we got it glued everywhere we need to, everywhere that's important. It's a little wrinkly, but I kind of like that. All right, um, what do we want to put on? Put some more fake blood. That would work. And then, what else could we put? Put something like that there. And I feel like it needs something. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Maybe I shouldn't have done Halloween. Maybe I should switch back to something else. <laughs> um... We could put a label. That could work. Kind of like that. Okay. 
I don't really have any words that'll go with that but that's okay you know I used to have like a ton of weird looking spooky stuff but I just don't anymore I just don't anymore um let's see Yeah, I think we'll just do like that. Keep it kind of simple. I don't know. Does that make sense? Does that work? Is that okay, guys? Alright, let's try and flip you over and snip you off. I was talking to my sister yesterday, I think it was. And we were talking about all this craft stuff we want to do next time she comes over. Because I live um, about an hour away from her, thereabouts. I'm just going to put some Distress Ink tea dye on this to kind of mute a little bit of the red. It's a little bright. It's not really doing much, but it's just enough that I think I'll like it better. <laughs> anyway, so... We were talking about all this craft stuff we want to do uh, next time she's she's here. Because usually when she comes, she, she'll stay the night. I have a nice guest room in the basement. It's like a guest suite. You have your own uh, bedroom, your own bathroom. You have a, a living room. There's a refrigerator down there and all that kind of stuff. So... So now I'm like jazzed up to do that and she's not going to be able to make it up here until uh, probably next month, which is like, ah, why can't it be now? So, but yeah, we're talking about, you know, eco dyeing some paper and um, checking out some smaller local uh craft stores, which I'm super excited to go do. I don't know if I can wait on her. <laughs> I might have to go without her. Um, but, yeah. Let's see. I think we'll put the blood on first. It's a nice sticker. Let's make sure we get to the corners we need. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but I did not line that up correctly. <laughs> good job, Heather, good job. supposed to come off like that. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have put that uh, ink on that. That's not doing much of anything except getting all over my hands. I'll just wipe it off. Tissue. But, um, yeah. I like that my sister likes to craft as well. We're slightly different in what we like, but we're, you know, it's similar enough that we can comfortably craft together. Though it's funny, every time we get together to craft, it's usually just one of us crafting and the other one watching the other <laughs> craft and do stuff. So. What can you do, you know? I'm sure my husband is happy that I now have the craft room upstairs because we used to pretty much do it all on the dining room table. Um, sometimes we would craft in like the basement, but the basement doesn't have great lighting because that was where I originally had my craft room and I never used it because the lighting down there is just, 
it does not work very well for lighting, for crafting and stuff. And as you can see, you know, in here, lighting is not too bad. Um, I'm just trying to dirty up the back a little bit. So it kind of looks... Focus. There we go. And there's the front. I think that'll be just fine. Um, yeah, and here, you know, um, the light's gotten... got the lights behind me, and then... I need a better place to put this stuff. I'll put it there. Um, and then I've got uh, uh, sunlight coming in most of the time. It's um, kind of rainy today, so no, no sun right now. Okay, so I have this other idea where I'm using book pages and napkins. Um, I think I want to put it on maybe some orange paper and let's see, I think I want to use, not that much, use a little bit of brown paper and use some of this tea dyed paper I guess I can use this side let's see if I can get it to go the way I want with this and music paper all right so let's get a napkin out and then um, if you guys over so we can see a little bit better. I need some tape. All right, so to separate layers of napkins, if you've never done it before, it's pretty easy. You just get some regular tape. Uh, washi tape will work if you've got that. And I pretty much, you can hold it like that or you can kind of roll the tape, which is what I tend to do. So you got your little, your little roll, and then you just, until it pulls that. And then you gently just pull it apart. All right. Now, like I said before, most of your other napkins or tissues are three ply. Um, like, I've got some of this that's three ply, so, What's great about it is you can still see through it, you know, but again, it also has a white background. This you can't see through. Um, I do have like some, like this one's printed with lots of colors and you can still see through it. So when you're looking at napkins and you're wanting that particular effect, you got to pay attention to that. But, you know, I absolutely loved the pattern, so it, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so now I've got my pieces. What do we want to do? Do we want to do a tag, or do we want to do like a journal card? Or should we just do whatever on it, and then we can cut it into... Then we can cut it into pieces. We could probably do more at one time. That might be an idea. I think we might do that. Yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna, actually, you know what, no. So I think I want, this is the size card I like for journaling cards. Um, it's, looks like it's about four and a half by six and a half. I don't know, I kind of like those for journaling cards. So I think I'm just gonna line it up and then we'll get a pencil and we'll just do that. In fact, let's just go ahead and do one more.
All right. Let's try the paper trimmer. I've not had luck lately with my paper trimmer, and I think it's because my table has... You can't see it, but there's a slight bow in the table, so it kind of, there's a hump right here, because that's where the seam of the table is. So it's very, very frustrating. So I'm wondering if I'm just like off a little bit. You know what I mean? I do have to say I have better luck with this teeny tiny little paper trimmer than I do with any of my other paper trimmers because I have um, I have a paper trimmer that's attached to my scoreboard and then I have a large guillotine style paper trimmer and that really only works if you're doing multiple sheets at one time because if you're only doing like one sheet it especially if it's a thin sheet it tends to just I don't know fold the paper it's off just a little bit on this one so I'm just gonna put a little trim and it should be good okay so we'll set you to the side because we're gonna use all of these I think, I think we'll do the horizontal look again. Okay, so what I was thinking, let's kind of give a, oh my gosh, get over, okay. Ripped effect, I don't like. I think like that, that'd be good. Hmm. Oh my gosh, come on. Alright, so if we do it like that, let's do let's do maybe like that. There we go. I like that. And then And I'm okay with a little bit of orange coming through. give it a collaged look is kind of the look I'm going for. Um, let's see, maybe like that. Or I think perhaps like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe we'll do one a little uh, one of these little round bits on it. I think that'll look good. Okay. Alright. Let's see. We'll do this first. I want to kind of give it more texture, so I roll it up and ball it up like that. So we get some wrinkles in it, and then we'll carefully undo it. I think we had it like that. 
that. Let's do it like that. Okay. Then you get some ink. And then I lightly just brush it across. That way it picks up the the highlights of the wrinkles and the creases. Okay. And then we get to the sides a little bit. Alright. So I need that on there so we can glue it. Yeah, it's actually starting to feel like fall here, which is nice, but it still hasn't gotten me quite in the mood for Halloween yet. Oh, and that's very frustrating because I know my kid's super excited about Halloween, and that's all she wants to, you know, look at and talk about and all that. and. We went out over the weekend and got her some body paint and some hairspray that dyes your hair and stuff. We got a birthday party to go to this weekend and then next weekend we'll go to the museum for their Halloween thing and then, and then it's Halloween. She tests next Wednesday for uh the next belt in Taekwondo. So we've been trying to get her prepared for that. I, I think she's ready. Um, she used to work on counting in, in Korean. Um, that's the only thing. So we gotta work on that. She says she's ready to take it today. <laughs> She doesn't want to wait until next week. So. I'm pretty sure she'll do just fine. I think we'll get a new, a new glue page. That one's getting kind of goopy. Alright, so we're going to try in put glue on the napkin. Alright, come on. Alright. So one thing I do like about you know the two ply napkin that I that I got from Kroger is that it is a bit thicker um, than your normal napkins. So it seems like it you know it holds up a little bit better. Like you can actually be slightly rough with it, but this piece is not, and it's not going in the corner. <laughs> but okay. Whatever. Whatever, napkin. <sighs> okay. That'll work. And that's still up, but I think that'll cover it just fine. Do we like it this way? Or do we like it crazy? We'll go with that. Alright, this just needs a little bit of ink. Super fragile um, music paper. I got it when I was in DC. Was it? It wasn't over the summer, it was. Um, was it last spring? I think it was last spring. Yeah, it was last spring because it was for my husband's birthday. So it was March, April. Yeah, because my two nieces that live in Virginia, their birthday is in April. So we were up there for the birthdays. Oh, Poop. I tore a little bit. Tore more, okay. Anyway, let's put that down. Find that it tore because we'll just put a little bit of ink there, and it looks like it was meant. Yeah. Um, let's see. 
Now that's some music paper. And it's super fragile. Copyright 1900. Mm. So, yeah. It's really, really fragile, but I like it because it's nice and old looking. And there's a few pieces that I've had um, some notations on it, some, some written stuff, and I don't know. I like it when it when it does that. Um, like I have a, a book of French um, grammar that's really old that has a lot of handwritten notes and stuff, and I absolutely adore it. Let's see. Do we want to put it in the corner? Do we want to put it up there? Put it in the center? Let's add a little bit more ink to this because I covered up the majority of the texturing I did. Um, I'm thinking that one because I think reading some of it. It says lovers can expect a new depth and intimacy. So they, they look like they look like lovers. Alright, do we want it there? Or do we want more of the text you can read? You could probably I was thinking maybe there. What do you think? Should we go there? I think we'll go there. Ooh, we should put like cheesecloth or something behind it. I think that's a splendid idea. looking as it sticks to my fingers oh good lord okay you know what I think um, do I have any of this just make a circle Need to sharpen that because that is not. Ooh, sun's coming out. So I want to make this a little bit more sturdy because this is out of magazine, and then I think it's just not. It's not gonna sit right. So I think I'm gonna glue it to this. Get off. Jeez. Like a clingy lover. All right. So I think I'm gonna glue it onto that. We'll distress it, um, and we might put some glitter glue around it too. But we'll put that on the glitter glue on after uh, after we um, glue it onto here. I'm trying to get the words out and it's just not working. Okay. Okay. So let's Give it a bit of distressingness. That worked out perfect. Actually, I really like the way that looks. Can you hear my cats? Apologize for the running, unruly children. <laughs> All right, come on. Yeah, my my husband, <laughs> he 
he forgot to turn the alarm off this morning when he left for work and you know I was in the shower my daughter was asleep and so he had to go um, run upstairs because he was all the way in the garage when he realized and he set the alarm off and um, I think it's well obviously it scared the cats um, let's get a wet wipe Clean this off a bit. Yeah, I, I think it's scared. We have a we have one cat, Jack. I Jack is like the sweetest cat that you'll ever meet if he gets brave enough to be around you because he's very skittish around uh, strangers. He's very shy, but when he gets comfortable enough with you, um, he's like super sweet. You know, he likes to cuddle a lot. Um, he finally got comfortable enough around my sister that he'll actually, you know, get in her lap, which is, you know, crazy. Um, kind of insulting because it took him a while to get comfortable enough with me for that. But, whatever, Jack. Um, anyway, so the alarm went off. He, it scared the cats, and then it's like... I keep finding um, like little uh, surprises, let's just say, in the house um, because like he's he's one of those cats. When we have company come over for the next, you know, after the company leaves, we basically have to go around the house and find where he threw up because he just he he gets so much anxiety about it. He just you know and stressed and he just starts throwing up in weird places. So basically that's what I'm experiencing now is I'm finding I'm finding treasures everywhere. Alright, so we got like a yellowish color. I think that would look pretty good. Uh, we got kind of a clear um, and then I've got I got a green. I got purple. I think I might go with the yellow if it'll come out. Oh, that's a little sticker booger. Okay, good. It's not clogged. I usually have to clean these constantly. And this is um, Michael's Studio G. I think it's called. Yeah, Studio G glitter glue. Um, they're in the cheapy bins. They're like a dollar a bottle. Or thereabouts, a dollar, dollar something, depending on I guess where you live. Um, but yeah, I like getting this stuff because it's it's pretty inexpensive and they got some nice colors. And I've had this tube for a really long time. Um, and it's held up pretty well. So, I'm about half done with it. I don't really use yellow a whole lot. But, yeah, there we go. So we just got a little bit of sparkle. And then it's blank on the other side for journaling. There we go. I'm going to set this way over on my desk. So it'll dry. There we go. And then... Oh, we've been at it for about an hour. Um, we could probably make one more. I don't want to keep you on here forever, but, you know. It is a craft with me. Um, I don't know. I think, let's do something. I've got some super cute owl ribbon. I want to do something with it. So, let's do that. Mm, or do we want to use... Do I even have enough of this? I don't have a whole lot. I think we'll do the white one. And then... I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think maybe... 
Maybe, maybe, maybe. Now it's the thinking part. You know what? I got some beware and I got some flourishy looking stuff. I think I'll use I'll use the flourish. And then I had some this is what I was thinking. Um and then we'll do the witchy. So maybe we'll do maybe something like that. And then we'll have a ribbon. I don't know. We may not do the ribbon. That might stay elsewhere. I definitely like that there, so any day now. There you go. So do you guys have somebody you like to craft with? I know I do a lot of crafting um, like when I'm oh for crying out loud <laughs> when I'm home alone and I'm not filming um, I will either put music on, put Netflix on or I will put a few of my YouTube channels on that I like to craft with. Um, I craft along with Gail Agostinelli a lot and Vivian from the Paper Letter blog. Uh, so, because they have nice chatty videos and I like that. So I think we'll put this down here. Let's be quiet so we can oh, concentrate and get it down. Good job, guys. Good job. Ooh. I know what we're going to do with this. We'll keep going the way we're going. Because I know what we're going to do. We need a little bit of book paper. And... Um, hang on. Let me grab... Music. We're going to overlay it with this. Okay. Oops. All right. There we go. All right. What, what stuck to me? Oh. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to put some of that stuff on there and then we're going to overlay the spider. Or put it underneath. We might put this underneath. We'll keep the flourish there because we already did that. So let's see. I think that'll still work. I think it'll work okay. Alright, yeah, I got this from Joann's. Um, not too long ago. So, I well, might sew around it, but I think I might see how it does without it. So, I'll put some stuff there. I think I like. Let's see. Cool. Put that there and put you there. I might have to use fabric tack for this for sure. Just make sure we get it all down right. And we'll go. Do we want to go there? Do we want to? want to go there? I think we might keep it up top. And then we'll back her like we did with the other one. I think that'll work. Let's go and get our little backer piece. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to use Fabri-Tac to glue everything else down, but... But yeah, so... Do you guys have somebody you like to craft with? Or do you, do you craft just listening to stuff? Um, I enjoy crafting with my sister. She came up for her birthday in September with my mom. And uh, we did like a little crafting day. And it was really nice. It's the first time that they got to see my new craft room. And um, the three of us just sat and we talked and did some crafting and it was really, really nice. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, and so did my sister. That's She didn't really care about anything else, you know, like doing anything else. She just wanted, you know the three of us to craft together because we're all pretty close you know I, I know a lot of uh, mothers and daughters and sisters aren't always super close but but we are we've always been pretty close you know uh, I can remember us going out shopping a lot and all that kind of stuff and going out for lunch and you know My sister and I talk, not quite every day, but we talk a lot, and she's definitely my best friend. So, which is funny because for a while there, we did not get along. All right, sun's coming out, so if lighting starts getting really bright and change, like it's like blinding me right now, um, <laughs> you can see the lighting change. Okay, um, I apologize, but. Hopefully it won't be too much. I'm trying to try and get this done, and then, then I'll probably stop the video after that. Um, all right, come on. All right, there we go. Okay. Let's see. I think we... Sit about there. That'll, that'll do. Yeah. Oh, we wanted we wanted music paper down first. Come on, guys, get it together. Remember, remember what order we were gonna do it in. Okay. All right, and then we'll do that about there. And then now we got goopiness going, but that's okay. There we go. And then this bit. Yeah, I'll choose not to do cheesecloth because uh, I don't think it needs it, especially with the tool behind it. She's a done. Could put some glitter on it. We could put some silver. And you see, this silver is almost empty. If it works, it may not be. I think it will work. I think we can get her out of there. Oh, good lord. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we can. Oh, gosh. We may not do it like this. Alright. There we go. Get a little bit out. It's not the best line. <laughs> It's not the best, but that'll work. Right, come on. 
you know what I should have trimmed I should have trimmed the excess before I started doing this good job Heather good job especially since this is not this is not wanting to come out not without crumpling the whole bottle real bad all right my hand's just gonna be in the way guys sorry let's get this done there we go all right and then we'll we'll trim the excess netting and this one will be done All right, while well, I trim this, thank you for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and videos like this. If you do, please give it a thumbs up so that I know I'm doing something right. <laughs> and uh, definitely give it a comment, too. I like hearing what you guys think of things, you know. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. The more that uh, I get feedback from you guys, the better I can make my channel. And the more, the better it is, the more you'll enjoy it, and then we'll all be happy. Except for getting blinded by the sun right now. But anyway, okay, okay. So that's pretty much done. Okay. We go and it still clips up just a little bit and then it's you know blank on the other side so we did that one uh, we did this one that's still trying and then we did these did that one and like a little bookmark looking one with some ribbon And then we did this one. And that's it for today. Thank you again for watching, and um, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.